Hey guys, so it's Kimberly. I know I look a little bit like crazy right now, but I totally forgot to film an intro to this video. I don't know how that happened. Like, I have no idea. But anyway, today I'm doing a look with the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe Volume 2 palette. And without further ado, if you want to see it, then let's get into it. We're going in with this beautiful Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. And we're going to go in with this Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH32 brush. And we're going to go in with the shade Hard On right there. It's a beautiful shade. These shadows are so freaking signature good, it's not even funny. So we're just going to take that all over, starting in the crease and just doing windshield wiper motions and big circular motions and just put it everywhere. Awesome, yeah, so we're just going to smoke it out just like that. And then we're going to go in with this shade hard on right here, or not hard on, I'm sorry, that's a shade we just used. We're going to go in with Living My Best right here, which is what she claimed to be the true red that does not blend out pink, and it's supposed to be like red red. It's got a little glitter in there, which I'm assuming is what helps um, kind of, I don't know, make it blend better, but... One thing I will say I've noticed about this palette, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it is, like, there's so much kick, back, kick up in this palette. Like, I'm just going to hit this once. Can you even see that? The amount of kickback that comes up when you just, you can see it, like, dusting off. It's crazy. This, this one shade has a lot, so look at that in the air. You definitely want to tap off your brush. And so that we're going to also put in the crease and kind of keep it heavy on the outer corner, but, and not quite as high, but definitely in the crease. And I'm just going to do some patting motions to kind of really build up that pigment in the outer corner and then just fluff it in. Okay. So now that we have like this craziness happening on the outer, we have this craziness happening all over the eye, this crazy red, vibrant fire truck, cherry red. We're going to give it some like actual real dimension and so it can like look like something. And so I'm going to go in with this JH50 brush. It's more of like a little packer brush. And we're going to go in with the shade Crazy right here, which is like a really nice, deep, dark maroon. And we are just going to pack this on the outer corner. And you can see that that is definitely adding some real dimension to this eye. So I'm just going to pat it there and then go this way, not wide ways, but like little skinny. And just kind of flick it out to give it a little bit of a blend. Now I'm going to go back in with the original brush and just kind of buff around the edges and blend it all together. Okay, so this is kind of what I was going for with the base of the eye. And now for the fun part, we're going to go in with the Jeffree Star Concealer, Magic Star Concealer in C8. And I'm going to... Put a little bit of this on the back of my hand, just because that's how I like to work with it. And I'm going to take a little flat brush like this, and I'm just going to kind of carve out the inner half of my eye to make a little base for us to put a nice shimmer shade on to get it nice and bright and kind of cancel out some of that red happening. Because if we put it right over this, I feel like it'll turn really pink, and that's not what we're going for. So now I'm going to go into this really pretty gold shade here on my finger. It's called Talia. And I am just going to pack that all over where we just put down that concealer. Okay. I don't know if I like that shade. It's not 
really doing anything. Uh... I don't know what to do now. Huh. Okay. Um, okay, so I really don't like how that shadow is performing. It's very almost like a topper. It's very see-through and I don't I don't really like it. So I'm gonna wipe it off with this a little bit. And I'm gonna pick a different shade to go in here. And that's the beauty of makeup. We can just wipe it off and start again. Okay, so now that I have the concealer back down again, we are gonna go into this shade, Empowered, but I feel like it might be a little too dark, so we're gonna go in with this and then maybe put a little ride or die on top of it to give it a little something extra. Oh yeah, that was already working so much better. You know what? I saw that everybody was like raving about the shade Talia and mine looks so pretty, but just as I have experienced with a couple of the shades in this palette, it kind of got like hard pan. Like I feel like everything got, when I swatched my finger in it, everything kind of condensed and got hard and stuck together. And now I'm like not getting any pigment. And I don't know if that's just the way the shadow is or if that's my shadow and not everybody else's. I don't really know. So there is that shade right there, Empowered. And now we're going to go in with a little bit of Drama Queen right on top. Yeah. Just to give it a little something extra. That's so pretty. So now I'm just going to go back in with that brush that we used the shade Crazy in and I'm just going to kind of blend the two together. Just kind of flicking motions back and forth to make sure that there's no harsh line there. And finally for this eye we are going to go in with the JH52 brush, it's this little pencil brush. And I'm going to go in with the little shade of Heart On which was that lightest shade that we started with. And I'm going to do that all along the lower lash line and then on the outer half I'm going to go in with crazy, that deepest shade, just to give it a little bit of dimension to match the top. All right, so really quickly, I'm going to go and do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. All right, so I just finished up this eye, same as the other, and I put on a little bit of mascara. I put on the Rocket, Vo Rocket Volume Express Mascara from who makes that it's the Maybelline in this really pretty blue packaging so I really like that so I put that on I have on the D star lashes in the style Kimberly which I love I love these lashes so much just pop them on real quick and last for my lips I'm gonna go in with the Milani lipstick in the shade Teddy Bear I really I really like this lipstick. I'm just not a big fan of the scent. I don't know what it's supposed to be scented like, but I'm not a huge fan of it. But besides that, I love the color. I love it. So yeah, this is my Jaclyn Hill X Morphe Volume 2 makeup look. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if so, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.